Hi, I'm Derek Spears. Welcome to this film on how to assemble your Cook & Lewis cabinets. In this film, I'm going to show you how to assemble a tall housing. Here's a tip for you. When you've opened your box, use the cardboard as a base to build your cabinet on. This helps protect the panels. To construct this cabinet, you have two packs. There's a tall one, which consists of the two end panels plus the backs, and the smaller one, which consists of all of the shelvings, the fittings, and the legs and assembly guides. Please note, this information is only for a 600 or 900 oven and nothing else. It is important that you read your assembly guide before you start. There is information in here which can help you when building your cabinets up. This covers the hardware, the legs, minimum tools required, and the panels. The white panels are the panels that come in this pack. The gray panels are the panels that come in your tall end panel pack. The panel numbers referred to correspond to those in the assembly guide. In the tall appliance housing packs, panel one is your left hand end panel, panel two is your right hand end panel, panels nine are your back panels, then you have two times panel five which are your fixed shelves, and you have two times panel seven which are your adjustable shelves, you have two times panel six which are your back rails, two times panel eight which are your oven support rails, then you have panel number four which is your base panel and panel number three which is your top panel. Your top panel has the extra holes here for hinges. In your hardware pack, you will have 24 metal cams, 24 quick lock metal dowels, 12 wooden dowels, 18 15 mil screws, eight 30 mil screws, two L brackets, and you'll also have eight shelf supports, as well as four legs, four leg bosses, and two plinth clips. For safekeeping, I'm gonna put all the components back in a box so I don't lose anything. If you're fitting a 600 mil oven, you use this set of holes here and this set. If you're fitting a 900 mil oven, you use this set and this set. As I said earlier on, it's only for a 600 or 900 mil oven, it will not take anything else. So inserting the cams into the holes, I'm now going to insert my cam, making sure that the arrow is pointing towards the hole on the edge of my panel. So place it in like, like so. And taking my quick lock dowel, pushing it into the hole, making sure it is fully inserted. Insert the metal dowel fully, and then just repeat until you have none left. Now insert your wooden dowels. If you find it difficult to push the wooden dowel in, just take a hammer and gently tap. Before you start assembling the cabinet, you need to identify which is the right and left hand panel. Now I know this is the right hand panel, but to make sure that you get the right one, if you count up from the bottom, including the fittings here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is the line for the 900 mil oven. 11, 12 is the line for the 600 mil oven. I'm going to put a mark there because that is where my 600 oven needs to start. So this is number 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that is where the top of my 600 oven is going to go. And that is number 20. So 21, 22, 23, 24 is where the top of the 900 oven goes. And then you've got 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. For a 600, it's hole number 12 and hole number 20. And for a 900, it's hole number 10 and 25. 
I'm fitting a 600 oven, so I've marked it now. I'll now transfer those marks onto this panel. If you've counted up from the wrong end, when you get to the position where you would normally put your shelf for your oven, you don't have the triangle. Taking my top panel, I'm now going to insert it into the corresponding holes, groove to groove, and the hinge holes towards the inside of the cabinet. Push it into position, and tighten the cams up as you go. The quick lock dowel works when the cam is turned between 12 and 2, 2 being the maximum. You will see that the metal plastic sleeve expands. This gives you a tight fit in the hole of your end panel. Repeat this for the rest of the panels, then you're ready to actually start assembling the cabinet. I'm now going to fix my back rail into position. Because this is actually hidden inside the cabinet, you can have your cams to the inside. This shelf doesn't have any wooden dowels in, and the cams always go towards the bottom of the cabinet. Insert it in there, and again, tighten the cams up as you go. The panel I'm going to put in next is the panel the oven sits on. So again, there is no wooden dowels, and the cams again go towards the bottom of the cabinet. So insert it in there and tighten it up. Putting my rail in at the bottom, and again, tighten the cams. And finally, my base panel. The base panel is the one with the extra holes in for the legs. Groove to groove, insert it like that, knock it down and tighten it up. Your oven support rails you will actually put in once you've stood the oven housing up. So I'm going to slide my back panel in the groove up to the top and making sure that it's square against the top, reach in and mark at the bottom, take that one away, and there's my mark. I'm actually going to cut here on this line right the way across, mark to the bottom of the panel, and this here is waste. Now I've cut my panel, I'm going to slide it into position. The reason you cut the panel is to allow for ventilation for your appliance. There we are, so that's that one fitted. I now turn my second end panel over into position and fix it down. So pulling it up like that, just quick pilot hole. And then taking two of the 15 mil screws. So the last thing to do before I stand the cabinet up is to put the legs on and the brackets that are used to hold it to the wall. I'm now going to fix my two angle brackets to the back of the cabinet. You could do them anywhere inside this opening for ease, but it's better to do them towards the top of the cabinet. And again, do one for this side. Once it's attached to the wall and you're ready to put your oven in, don't forget to put the two oven support rails in. And they go, one on either side, in here, and on this side, using two of the 30 mil screws provided. I'm now gonna fit my shelf supports prior to fitting my two shelves. There's one for the bottom and one for the top. So I put the shelf supports in and pull them down very slightly. Put it in at a very slight angle. Tap it down. And again, slide your shelf in and drop down. When you've got this cabinet into position and you're ready to put the rest of your wall units up, it's the top of this cabinet that you use for your level line. So take in a level, mark around the kitchen until you're happy, and that then gives you the line that all the rest of your wall units are going to finish up to. 
This means if you fit cornice and pelmet, it's nice and flat.